So guys, so I'm gonna show you in this video how to fit a thousand rounds of 762 by 39 into a regular mil spec 50 cal can. Uh, whatever ammo they end up getting, you know, it's like uh, Tula, any kind of Vimple, it comes in these like little square-ish boxes. This happens to be BVA. Picked up a couple thousand rounds of this recently and some more coming in. But yeah, this is how you fit a thousand rounds of 762 by 39 in these square-ish boxes into a 50 cal can. Okay, so I'm gonna close this up and we grab another thousand rounds for you. So here's your regular 50 cal can. I like storing my ammo in these cans. It makes it a little bit organized and keeps it from the elements. Okay, keep this open here, just like that. When you get your ammo, it's probably gonna come in something like this. Uh, I know Tula, Tula doesn't have these plastic seals, but it comes in 25 uh, boxes per plastic baggie with two of these in there. So, take it out, and we start. Okay, we're gonna do three layers, with the last layer being straight down the middle. So this is how you do it. If you look at these boxes right here, let's just say uh, it's, it's, all, it's almost a perfect square. Let's just say this is the front, right? And this is gonna be the top. We're gonna use the sides like this. And I'll put a link in the description of uh, the picture. I'm referencing this off of uh, somebody's post on air15.com, but it's a really good way to organize the ammo. So we're gonna do it on the side. And this one right here is going to be top long lengths and then on the right side it's going to be on the side on the side down the middle is going to be top facing up And to finish off uh, the bottom section right here, uh, on the sides, we're going to do two boxes on both far sides facing up. Sorry. This side facing up. So it's going to be higher. It's going to be a little bit taller right down here. This box is going to be taller than the other. Here's another one. Sorry, camera's shaking a little bit. Another one. Yeah. So that paper is getting caught a little bit. Same thing on the other side. So the box, top part. And then the last box at the very, very bottom uh, end in the middle column is just going to be. Uh, laying flat uh, with the long section pointing upward just like that so that covers the uh, bottom section i'm just going to reference the next photos a little bit easier okay next section is going to be uh, somewhat similar now in the sides it's going to be identical again except now instead of having it lay down flat on the side you're going to have it on the high end Taller, so the box is gonna sit a little bit taller on the side. Three of them, just like that. In the center, you're still gonna keep the same uh, pattern as the bottom layer. So this first box up front is gonna lay this way. And then the middle section, we're gonna be laying it uh, uh, facing up but sideways. Like that. Okay. Right. Uh, next uh, 500 rounds. And then on these uh, bottom, the left and right bottom sides, we're going to be putting the boxes on the long side.
Yeah, there we go. And at the very bottom again, same thing. So it's gonna be laying flat. So that covers the second uh, layer. So now we're gonna do the third layer. On the third layer, on the left and right sides, boxes are gonna be laying uh, flat on this side right here. Same exact thing. The middle column is still going to be the same. So that one box facing sideways, and that these box laying flat down. Oh, there we go. And then for these uh, bottom section on the left and right, uh, this is going to be the last part. And we're going to be having the boxes uh, standing tall on the, the, the small side. And it should be almost to the brim uh, or to the edge of the 50 cal can. Probably be the last time we see Russian 762 by 39 for reasonable prices. I got these right before all the Ukraine stuff kicked off. So, oh God, these things are like 50 cents per round right now, something like that. Okay. And then the last section is just filling up the uh, middle, middle column the exact same way. So one box to the side facing long, and then these boxes are gonna sit on the side. All right, and there you have it. A thousand rounds. Sorry, this mount's kind of janky. Yeah, a thousand rounds. Perfect fit in a mil spec 50 cal can. So, great, easy to store, you know, sealed, especially in the Pacific Northwest here. I want to make sure all my ammo is sealed properly, no moisture. Nothing crazy. So yeah, uh, that's how you fit the 762 by 39. These boxes are pretty uh, common uh, uh, packaging. So Tula, some of the wolf, uh, not all the wolves, but like Tula, this uh, Vimple stuff, stuff coming out of Russia. As long as they're kind of square shape. Golden Tiger is also another one. They will fit in this pattern. Um, the Wolf uh, Mill Spec or the Barnall, they come in like slightly longer rectangle boxes, so it doesn't fit uh, as well.